All right, welcome racers to our 12th and final full throttle tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you guys are sharing this live with a couple of friends. Um, if you're watching this after the fact of being live, uh, I suggest you guys go ahead and share this to your uh, Instagram stories, share it to your Facebook pages, as much as you guys can all over the place. Make sure you guys are sharing this live with everyone. Ryan Shoemate is already here in the building. RH Racing is also in here. Make sure you guys are sharing this link with the Patreon chat. B Real is already in here. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the 12th and final tournament for the Full Throttle uh, tournament. The champions of this tournament will be moving on to our Royal Rumble tournament. I will show you guys all 12 of the champions and 12 cars that will be racing in that uh, full throttle, uh, sorry, Royal Rumble tournament. All right. Uh, on our fourth live, on our fourth full throttle tournament, we did something special, which was we brought back some past champions uh, from when we first started all the way to now. Um, so basically, if your car has won a championship, you could race it. Um, all the other tournaments were sealed, closed cars that we unboxed right before the lives um, in the Patreon chat. So uh, we did that for the fourth tournament. We did that for the eighth tournament. And now we're doing it again for the 12th tournament. So tonight you're going to see some of the fastest cars we've seen ever here on the track. And of course, we're talking about Thanos uh, from Team Be Real. We're talking about Rotisserie Chicken from Team uh, Amy Brunette. We're talking about the Judge from Schumatron in the Old Mountain. Sidewinder from Hank to Hammer in the Old Mountain as well. Uh, Copper from uh, Team Joshin, who has won multiple championships. And of course, uh, Trueno 2.0, which we saw last night racing in the 60 car JDM tournament. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll be linking that somewhere around here at the top. It was a 60 car tournament. It took three hours to do. Um, so make sure you guys are checking that out as well. Thrano 2.0 is gonna be racing here as well tonight. Um, well, thanks from me for putting in kits. So Wombo is putting in kits. Uh, Wombo is known for having kits in rubber tires in the old mountain, uh, both regular and pursuit mode. And tonight he is, uh, we unboxed right before this uh, tournament, we unboxed the, uh, the new kit, the 2011 box kit. So uh, Wombo will be racing that one tonight. Uh, he's won rubber tire, but not plastic. That's right. Um, it's on my big screen. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, again, if you guys can hit that like button at the top right hand corner of your screen, there should be three little dots. Hit that like button. Uh, this is the top of the mountain. For those of you guys that have not seen it yet, we will be placing the cars there. And then over here, we will be seeing um, the finish line with slow motion replay. All right. Here we go, guys. We're going to go ahead and start our first race of the night. First race of the night is going to be Womble on the right lane in the kits and Hyperfin on the left for Team RH Racing. Hyperfin on the left, I believe, is from the Fast and the Furious uh, Spy Racers. I think that's a series on Netflix going against kits, which we all know that series, right? Let's go to the top of the mountain. Uh, Womble says, didn't want anybody to get mad. No, definitely. Nobody's getting mad here. No, no, no. No one's getting mad. None of us make anyone mad. All right, so starting us off, ladies and gentlemen, the 12 full throttle tournament is Womble on the right lane and the Hyperfin for RH Racing on the left. Let's see what happens. Oh, and what happened to our camera? There we go. Okay. Got scared for a second. Here we go, everyone, in three, two, one. Oh, and Hyperfin with a 111.01 Womble with a crash there. Let's go ahead and check out that slow motion replay really quick. 
Wombo has a 117.23 to a 111.01 from the Hyperfin. Not cool, not cool. We're gonna go ahead and flip them now. Let's go ahead and flip them so Wombo will be on the left lane and Hyperfin on the right. Let me know in the comments who you guys got between these two and make sure the kit is okay. Yep, he's good. Let's go to the top of the mountain again. Here we go, everyone. Double tap on that screen as much as you guys can. Make sure you guys are sharing this live with your friends and family members, grandmas, cousins, uncles, aunts, you name it. Go ahead and send it to them. Oh, what? All right, here we go, guys. Hyperfin on the right and Wombo on the left in the kits in three, two, one. And Hyperfin with a 1109, Wombo with a slower time there. Oh no, not good for the kids. He is now Eliminatos and Hyperfin for RH Racing. We'll be moving on to our second round of the night. By the way, I wanna let you guys know that um, I mentioned at the beginning of the live that our fourth, our eighth, and this championship, this tournament, uh, has past champions. Now, if any of the racers used a specific car, for example, Turk used uh, the Turculator in the fourth tournament, he's not allowed to use the Turculator anymore. So, none of the cars that you're seeing here have raced in any of the full throttle tournaments before. So that's something that I need you guys to understand. Thank you, Shoemate, for uh, the super chat, you are super awesome. Thank you so much, sir. He sent in, of course, the wiener. All right, here we go, guys, here we go. Next up, the race everyone has been waiting for. Thanos versus the judge. Be Real loves Shoemate, I mean, Be Real and Shoemate. Shoemate on the right lane in the judge and Be Real on the left in Thanos. Let's see what happens, here we go, guys. Let's go to the top of the mountain. So, the judge on the right lane. You're for awesome! Schumatron and B Rail on the left for Thanos. I don't know if Brian Shoemate is sending me the wieners so that I can bend an axle on, on, the, on Thanos or if he's just being nice. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Here we go. Thanos on the left and the judge on the right. We're gonna find out. Let's see what happens in three, two, one. And a 107.58 to a 107.59. Wow, it doesn't get any closer than that. Ladies and gentlemen, a point zero 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 one. Mind you, these cars have not raced in forever. These cars have not raced in forever. A point zero 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 one difference between these two. 107.58 to a 107.59. Judge taking the first win against Thanos. Ouch. Let's go ahead and flip them now. Here we go, guys. Let's reset the clocks, reset up top. Actually, hold on. This is picture worthy. I need to take a picture of this, guys. This is for the Instagram. Take a picture for the ground. These are slow numbers for both of these cars, but definitely picture worthy. Shoemate now on the left lane and B Rail on the right. Thanos on the right. I think I know why um, Thanos is a little slow tonight. Um, so normally. Normally when uh, B-Real is racing Thanos, in the comments he says Thanos snap or something. I remember him saying something along those You're lines. Awesome. So we'll see. Lane Domain, thank you for being here. What's up? Brunette is in the building. All right, Hank the Hammer is in here as well. Hank, the Sidewinder is racing tonight, man. This is gonna be awesome. Shoemate, is he riding off? Thanos, we're gonna find out. Ladies and gentlemen, Thanos now on the right lane. The judge on the left. Let's see what happens. I'm a little, I'm a little afraid of to what's about to happen. Some people threw in the sudden death. Ryan Shoemate throwing in that sudden death emoji. 
Let's see, be real. Writing that Thanos snap in the comments in three, two, one. And I'm. You guys see what I mean? B real needed to say that. And look, 106.85. 106.85 now becomes the fastest time of the night. A 107.23 for the judge. 106.85 for Thanos. Oh man, someone write that down in the comments. 106.85 is now the fastest time of the night. All right, so we are going to a sudden death, everyone. Sudden death. So the judge back on the right lane and Thanos on the left. But now, whoever crosses the finish line first will be moving on to the next round. Yeah, Thanos said, Thanos said, hold my beer. Literally. All right, so. Thanos said, hold my infinity stones real quick. <laughs> All right, guys, this is sudden death. I need everyone to give me as many red emojis as you guys can in the comments. All the red emojis that you guys can. This is our sudden death. First sudden death of the night. Again, Thanos on the left lane and the judge on the right. Thanos just had to loosen up. I know this is getting spicy. Here we go, everyone. Here we go in three, two, one. And a 107.21 tie. Uh-oh. This is getting spicier. 107.21 from both of them. Let's go back to the top of the mountain, everyone. Make sure you guys are sharing this live with as many friends as you guys can. If you guys can like the live, I will highly appreciate it. Hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet to our channel, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, your name will pop up in the middle of our screen and we can welcome you into the Awesome Wheels family. Thanos on the left, the judge on the right. In three, two, one. And a 107.15 to a 107.54. Ladies and gentlemen, Thanos with the win there. And unfortunately for Team Schumatron, the judge is now Eliminato's. This means that uh, Shoemate only got to have one car in the, Ro in the Royal Rumble tournament. And that is the Sprint NASCAR. The Sprint NASCAR, ladies and gentlemen. B-Rail has a total of three cars in the um, Royal Rumble tournament. Just wanted to let you guys know. That was a good race between them two. All right, next out, next, next up. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Amy in the building with Rotisserie Chicken. Man, I haven't seen this car race in so long, but I just love this car. I, I was the one who named it Rotisserie Chicken because it's built like a rotisserie chicken. Going up against Chef Bow in the Black Mamba. Ladies and gentlemen, this is definitely one of those retro uh, champions from our old mountain into the new mountain as well. The Black Mamba from Team Chef going up against Rotisserie on the left. Let's go to the top of the mountain, everyone. I'm screwed next round, LOL. <laughs> RH is like, man, I'm afraid. Be very afraid. Ladies and gentlemen, Rotisserie on the left lane. Where's Brunette? Is Brunette still in here? Brunette, you're up. Steffi Lynn says, game over. All right, guys, so, throwback race, the old school. All right, here we go, guys. Brunettes on the left, Chef Al on the right lane in three, two, one. And a 106.47 and a little parkour there from Brunettes. Oh, man, ladies and gentlemen, that means that Rotisserie now takes the fastest time of the night chef you just got beat by a girl ladies and gentlemen a 106 47 from brunette on the left lane gets her the fastest time of the night man hold on another one for the gram another one for the gram ladies and gentlemen this is 106 47 now the fastest Oh man, let's go ahead and flip them. So Brunette will be on the right lane and the Black Mamba on the left. 
Let's go to the top of the mountain. Can she beat her own time? We're going to find out. Mind you guys, Threno 2.0 last night raised a 106.40. So that was super, super fast. <clears throat> so, smoked chicken. That's right, guys. Where is, where's Punisher, by the way? And Turk. Someone, someone send this out to them, please, and thank you. All right, guys, so chef on the left now and rotisserie chicken on the right. In three, two, one. And a 107.10 slow times there for Brunette, but still securing the win over the Black Mamba. So rotisserie will be moving on to the next round. And chef, unfortunately, is a limonato, but chef does have uh, one car in the Royal Rumble tournament. So shout out to Chef. He will be racing in the Royal Rumble tournament with his Acura concept car. That was our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth tournament. So if you want to go ahead and see that Acura race uh, in our eighth tournament, he was the champion. Shout out to Chef. All right, guys. Next up, we got Punisher in Threno 2.0 going up against. El Turco Juan, better known as Turk Jones here on the track of John's Auto Body. He's riding in the Escalator, going up against Threno 2.0 on the right lane. Let's go to the top of the mountain. Let me know in the comments who you guys got between these two. Here we go, everyone. So, can I switch cameras? Yes. So El Turco Juan on the left lane and uh, Punisher on the right lane. Let's see what happens. Here we go, guys. Make sure you guys are double tapping on that screen as much as possible. I will highly appreciate it. Here we go, guys. In three, two, one. And a 106.80 from the Escalator. Turk Jones, El Turco Juan, with a 106.80 on the left lane to a 107.51 on the right by uh, Punisher. Not fast enough for the Turk. The Turk a Turk. All right, we're going to go ahead and flip them. So Turk Jones on the right lane now and Punisher on the left. Let me know who you guys got now between these two. Let's see what happens. The Escalator. That's right. Escalator. I think I think that name sounds more more manly, right? Instead of an Escalade, the Escalator. <laughs> Here we go, guys. The Escalator on the right and Punisher on the left. Will Punisher force a sudden death? We gonna find out. In three, two, one. And a 107.04. 107.04 from the Turk. Ladies and gentlemen, he will be moving on to the next round to go up against Rotisserie Chicken. Oh man, that's gonna be crazy. And uh, Threno is now Eliminatos for the second round. Let's reset the clocks, reset up top. I should have rented the V60. You should have rented the V60. <laughs> you should have. Um, all right, guys. So next up, next up, we have Chaz Fernando on the right lane, who by the way has two cars in the Royal Rumble tournament. That's Forward Force and the Rocket Oil. Going up against my man Joshton, who also has two cars in the Royal Rumble tournament, which is that nasty, amazing uh, bone, bone shaker? No, it's not bone shaker. Bone Crusher. No, Bone Shaker. It is Bone Shaker. FTE Bone Shaker and also the NASCAR Big Mac. So Josh Tin on the left in the Corvette and um, Chaz Fernando on the right. By the way, this is a jet threat. This is the first jet threat to ever be made by Hot Wheels. So this is one of the originals. So let's go to the top of the mountain, everyone. Here we go. Sirens and flashing lights. You're awesome! So, the Jet Threat on the right lane and the Corvette on the left. 
the Corvettes on the left for um, Joshton. Here we go, guys. Let's see what happens in three, two, one. Ooh, we got a 107.32 tie between these two cars. This is gonna get spicy. By the way, that Jet Threat has those uh, three spoke rims on it, and the Corvette has the FTEs on it. FTEs. Get my FTEs. So, here are the wheels on that Jet Threat. Again, the three spoke. And the Jostin Corvette, of course, has the FTEs on it. Here we go, everyone. Mm -hmm. Let me know who you guys got between these two. In three, two, one. And another Spidey tie, 107.38 for both of them. If they tie one more time, guys, we will be switching lanes. Just wanna let you guys know. If they tie again, we do switch lanes. Mm -mm. Let's see what happens. Turk, Turk is in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to Turk Jones in the building. Turk Jones from Jones Auto Body. One of the biggest sponsors here at Tiburon Mountain Drag Strip and Awesome Wheels. Shout out to Turk Jones, the driver of the Escalator. All right, guys. So Corvette on the left again and Jet Threat on the right. Let's see what happens in three, two, one. Oh, and we had the times already on the clocks. So that will not count. The clocks went directly to the old time. So again, that will not count. Let's go back to the top of the mountain. I'm sorry about that, guys. We're having difficulty with the towers. I'm going to go ahead and trigger, trigger the laser to see and make sure everything is working the way it's supposed to be. And it is. Let's see. Boop. Boop. Okay, it's working. All right. So, Justin on the left, Chaz on the right. In three, two, one. Oh, and ah. Uh, our right lane lasers did not get triggered by Chance Fernandez. A 106.99 though by that Corvette. My man, Justin. Well, he was ready. He was ready, guys. Let's try one last time. Oh man, that will not count. So again, Chaz on the right, Justin on the left. They're just getting, they're just getting warmed up. That's what they're doing. In three, two, one. And a 107.33 from Chaz taking the first win. Chaz taking the first win out of these two. Let's go ahead and flip them. So Chaz will be on the left lane and the Corvette's on the right. Uh-oh. Josh Finn, are you gonna force a sudden death? We're gonna see both of these, both of these drivers have two cars in the Royal Rumble tournament. Let's see what happens. Joshton on the right lane now. Chaz on the left. In three, two, one. And a 107.35 for the Chaz Ferdinando. Ladies and gentlemen, that means Chaz will be moving on to the next round. And unfortunately for Joshton, he is now eliminatos. So Chaz moving on to the next round. And our final race, final race of the first round is going to be my man Victor Morales in the Viper going up against Hank the Hammer in the one-seater heater, the Sidewinder. Let me know in the comments who you guys got between these two by commenting blue or yellow emojis. Blue or yellow emojis in the comments. Again, Victor Morales on the right, Hank the Hammer on the left. Let's go to the top of the mountain everyone where is victor morales is he in here inksy are you in here let me know in the comments the viper on the right the sidewinder a, a huge past champion here at awesome wheels i don't think that viper has been a champion before but it's definitely a mean car all right inksy on the right lane victor morales on the right lane inksy from inksy.com where you can get all your custom apparel and also official awesome wheels merchandise here we go guys so 
Uh, Victor Morales on the right, Hank on the left. In three, two, one. And a 107-29 from the Viper, Victor Morales with the first win against the Sidewinder. 107-67 for the Sidewinder. Wow, 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 wow. Let's go ahead and flip them. So, Victor Morales on the left lane now. And Hank on the right. By the way, guys, uh, Victor Morales used the Shoemates race car rentals. If you guys want to go ahead and rent a car out, uh, uh, Victor Morales went ahead and used the Shoemates race car rentals by renting that Viper out. If you guys want to go ahead and take advantage of that, make sure you guys uh, send a super chat with the 199 and the name of your car and your team name if you want to be in our next um, tournament. Victor Morales on the left now and Sidewinder on the right. In three, two, one. Oh, snap! Let's go ahead and take a replay. Replay, look at the Sidewinder hitting that 107.13 on the right lane, forcing this into a sudden death Hank the Hammer, ladies and gentlemen, with a 107.13 on the right lane, forcing a sudden death against the Viper. This is getting spicy. All right, so Hank the Hammer will go back on the left lane. Victor Morales on the right lane. And we are going to a sudden death, ladies and gentlemen. I need everyone to give me all the red emojis you guys got in the comments. Sudden death is upon us right now. All the red emojis in the commentarios. Please and thank you. Fill up the comments with red emoji trons. I will highly appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, Victor Morales on the right lane and Hank the Hammer on the left for our sudden death. We turn off the lights. We turn on the red lights. Yep, it's getting serious. Hank the Hammer on the left, Victor Morales on the right lane. Let's see what happens. The Sidewinder is warming up. That's right, guys. In three, two, one. Oh, and a 107.32 for Victor Morales. That means Victor will be moving on to the next round, round number two against Chance Fernando. Ladies and gentlemen, Hank the Hammer now, Eliminatos. Oh man, so our second round will consist of uh, Inksy, Victor Morales, Chas Fernando, Turk Jones, Amy Brunette, Be Real, and RH Racing. This is gonna get super, super spicy for our second round. Uh, by the way, RH Racing, Amy Brunette, Turk Jones, or Victor Morales, four of those cars, four out of the six, do not have any cars in the Royal Rumble tournament. So it's gonna get really, really spicy in the next round, and that is round number two. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise in the comments. We are going to our second round, second round of the night. Shout out to everyone who is in here. If you guys can, please take this time to go ahead and share this live with as many friends as you guys can. I will highly appreciate it. All right, Be Real said he's going to give me the win to 7-Eleven. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is round number two. The fastest so far of the night has been rotisserie chicken. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe it's a 106. 47, that is the time to beat. And that is Amy with rotisserie chicken, the fastest of the night. First race up to second round is gonna be RH Racing on the right with the Hyperfin and B Rail on the left with Thanos. Let me know in the comments who you guys got between these two. Let's go to the top of the mountain, everyone. Here we go. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Be real is racing Thanos tonight. So far, he has Shadow Jet, he has Goliath, he has um, 
a PT Cruiser, which I don't think he has a name for that one, right? And if he wins tonight with Thanos, he will be the only racer in the Royal Rumble tournament with four um, with four cars. So that's that's a crazy advantage for Be Real. Be Real and Thanos on the left lane, RH Racing on the right. Here we go, everyone. In three, two, one. And a 106.38, 106.38, ladies and gentlemen, now becomes the fastest time of the night. A 106.38 for Thanos. Wow, he's just getting faster. He's literally getting faster, everyone. 106.38, oh, a little earthquake there. 106.38 from Thanos on the left lane. b -Rail with the fastest time now on of the night 106 38 hold on this is another screenshot right here screenshot moment everyone and picture time okay 106 38 Thanos will now be on the right lane and the hyperfin on the left let me know who you guys got now between these two let's go to the top of the montana 106.38 Thanos. Man. Guys, to all the other Patreons, all the drivers that are here, we have to find a car that can beat that guy. We need to find a car. Maybe we'll find it tonight. Maybe one of the contenders that are racing in this second round, is Duco Juan, Amy Brunette, Inksy, Victor Morales, or Chas Fernando, might be the one. If RH doesn't force a sudden death right now, Let's see what happens. In three, two, one. 10669 on the right lane for Thanos. Ladies and gentlemen, that means Thanos will be moving on to our top three of the night. He's already securing podium spots in the top three of the night. No surprise there. Every time, I believe, I don't think we've ever seen Thanos get eliminated in a first round or a second round. I don't think we've ever seen that happen. I believe Thanos has always gone to round number three, which is something very crazy um, from a car and a driver. So next up, this is gonna be a nasty race. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Amy Brunette on the right lane in Rotisserie Chicken going up against Edul Kohan in the escalator let me know in the comments who you guys got between these two let's go to the top of the montana everyone make sure you guys are making some noise in the comments share this live with as many friends as you guys can and turco juan on the left and rotisserie thy chicken on the right all right rotisserie rotisserie can hang with thanos Ooh. Someone saying that rotisserie, that's Hank. Hank saying that rotisserie got this against Thanos. Maybe, you guys think so? Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Can that happen, everyone? Can rotisserie beat Thanos? As of right now, we got Thanos, we got rotisserie, sorry, on the right lane. And we got El Turco Juan on the left. Here we go, everyone. In three, two, one. Oh, and a 106.80 from Turk Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, Turk with a 106.80 on the left lane against Rotisserie. 107.51 for the chicken. Nobody calls me chicken. All right, let's go ahead and reset the clock. Reset up top. And Turco Juan will now be on the right lane in the escalator. And rotisserie chicken on the left. Let's go to the top of the mountain. All right, Turk Johns also took advantage of the Shoemates race car rentals with that escalator, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys want to go ahead and uh, rent a car, you guys can do so by uh, sending in a 199 super chat in the comments and uh, letting us know your team name and the car you want to use. Turk John's now on the right lanes and rotisserie on the left. Let's 
see what happens. Here we go, everyone. In three, two, one. 10707, 10707. Tie for both cars. And I hope none of these cars have tire shape or any of these cars misses a gear because it's about to go down. Rotisserie chicken on the left again and uh, the escalator on the right. Here we go guys. Definitely getting spicy. Spicy tonight, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Here we go. The only right way to win the only right way to eat tacos, it's spicy. And it's getting spicy tonight. Turk John, oh, Turk John's with the 199 in the comment section, in the super chat, officially, officially renting out the escalator. You didn't have to do that, but thank you. Um, and he says Thanos is going down. What? Rotisserie on the left and Turk John's on the right in three. Two, one. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, give me that replay. Give me that replay. Give me that replay. 10630 on the right lane from the Turco. Oh, snap. Giving us the fastest time of the night. Turk Johns now has the fastest time of the night with a 106. 30 on the right lane. That means Amy is now eliminatos. Oh, snap. Chicago. Ladies and gentlemen, El Duco Juan. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. This is screenshot moment here. Screenshot moment, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so Turco Juan moving on to the next round. Holy Chicago. That's right. Man, 106.30 now for Turk Johns. Write that down in the comments, someone, please. 106.34. Awesome. El Turco. El Turco Juan with 106.30. 106.30 is now the time to beat. Wow, wow, wow. Just spanked Amy. I know. <laughs> Literally. Ladies and gentlemen, the last race of the second round, last race of the second round is Chaz Fernandez on the right lane going up against Victor Morales on the left. Um, Victor Morales does not have a car in the Royal Rumble tournaments. Neither does Turk Jones. So if Victor Morales wins this one, that'll be two against one that don't have a car in the Royal Rumble tournament. But if uh, Chaz Fernando wins, he will have a chance at having a third car in the Royal Rumble tournament. This is gonna get the only way you should eat tacos. Spicy! That's right, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. So, the Viper on the left, the Jet Threat on the right. Yes, Womble, a huge race right here, okay? That's Jet Threat 1.0. Going up against the Viper on the left lane. Let's see what happens. Here we go, guys. Where's Shoemate at? I think he's making um, mini corn dogs or something like that. He said. I think that's what uh, Shoemate is doing. Here we go, everyone. Here we go. In three, two, one. And a 106 91 tie. Man, these guys are tying at 106s. This is huge, guys, okay? So make sure you guys are um, holding on to your seats. Don't go to the porta potties yet. Please make sure you guys are watching these races. Guys, go, go to the bathroom when we announce third round, but not right now. Okay, Chas Fernando is on the right lane and Victor Morales again on the left lane. We are getting ties here. This is gonna get Spicy Inksy Victor Morales with the 199. He says, Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Inksy.com, where you can get all your custom apparels and the official Awesome Wheels merchandise. By the way, guys, Inksy Victor Morales is also sponsoring the Royal Rumble tournament 
with a one out of one official Royal Rumble merchandise, which includes a photo shoot of your car on the actual uh, t-shirts merch that you will receive. This is crazy. Victor Morales on the left, Chas Fernando on the right. In three, two, one. And a 106.55 on the left lane from Victor Morales. Let's check out that replay really quick. 106.55 on the left lane. Victor Morales with the win there. 107.58 from Chance Fernando. By the way, guys, just want to let you guys know that I know some of you guys are getting scared because B Real has three cars already in the next round in the Royal Rumble. And he might have a fourth one. Just want to let you guys know that it only takes one. All it takes is one car to do really good. And you can be the champion. Here we go, guys. That Viper looks sweet in slow-mo. I know, right? This Viper's sexy. I think it's that those stripes in the middle that make it look nice in that slow-mo. So... Victor Morales on the right, Chas Fernandez on the left in that Jet Threat 1.0. Whew! This is getting spicier. Spicier and spicier. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Victor Morales on the right, Chaz on the left in three, two, one. And a one. Oh! Holy Chicago! Holy Chicago. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? We need to see that replay again. I'm sorry. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. What just happened? What just happened? Victor Morales just tied the Turco Juan's time with a 106.30. The fastest time of the night now has been tied. And Thanos went from having the fastest time of the night going into the top three to now being the slowest car in the top three. This is getting way too spicy tonight i don't know what you're doing with your life if you're not in this live this is a screenshot moment hold on this is screenshot moment a 106 30 from the two other cars that's not thanos in the top three victor morales is definitely on fire tonight wow 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 eliminating the uh, the jet threats for Team Chaz Fernando, ladies and gentlemen, the 10630s, the 10630s are tied by Turk Jones in the Escalator and Inksy Morales in the Blue Viper. Wow! Let's see what happens. Here we go, guys. Will Thanos, Will Thanos beats both of these cars? that have faster times than him tonight? Or will these two cars obliterate Thanos and steal the gauntlet with the Infinity Stones? We're going into our third round of the night, third and final round of the night. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise because it's about to go down. We are getting real tonight, ladies and gentlemen. This is definitely a spicy, live tonight probably one of my favorites out of all the 12 i have my favorites which so far has been one through 11 but this one oh my gosh this tournament has been crazy here we go everyone from shoemates one of the legends getting getting uh eliminated in the first round Thrano getting eliminated in the first in the first round. Womble getting eliminated. What is going on? Here we go, guys. Our first race of the third and final round. It's gonna be Thanos versus Turk Jones. B Real on the right lane. Turk Tuko Juan on the left in the escalator. Let's 
see what happens. Let's go to the top of the montaña, everyone. I don't know. I have a feeling there's gonna be some sudden deaths in this in this third round. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm a little scared right now. I'm a little scared. Again, we got Thanos on the right. Where is Shoemate? Someone find Shoemate. We got Thanos on the right lane. We have the Escalator on the left. Whoo! Anxiety through the roof right now. Here we go, guys. Here we go. In three, two, one. And a 106.78 from Thanos on the right lane. Thanos already beating the Escalator in the first race. Oh man, is this gonna be easy for Thanos? Did Thanos do something to mess up that escalator? We gonna find out. Thanos back on the left lane and the escalators on the right. Here we go guys, to the top of the montaña we go. I'm here, I was eating some more steak. <laughs> So the escalator on the right lane and Thanos on the left lane. Let's see what happens. Make sure you guys are double tapping on that screen. If you guys haven't liked the live, make sure you guys are liking the live. That really means a lot for me and to the channel and to the video. Turk John's on the right lane now and Thanos on the left. Here we go guys. And three, two, Oh, we got a right, we got a light on the right lane while they were coming down, but a tie with a 106.67. It's not gonna count either way. Oh, earthquake going on. Make sure you guys are holding on. We've been getting these uh, earthquakes out of nowhere. But please make sure you guys are holding on to your kids. Um, skid marks should be going around there. Make sure you guys uh, hold on to him. He's afraid of these earthquakes that we've been getting. So, um, Turk John's on the right lane again, and uh, Be Real on the left, and Thanos. I've been watching the whole time. Oh, okay, good. I'm glad. All right, Thanos on the left, Turk John's on the right. Here we go, guys. Here we go. In three, two, one. Oh! <gasps> Replay again. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a 105.89 from the Escalator. This is getting so crazy right lane for the escalator with a 105 89 to a 106 59 on the left lane for the thanos oh my goodness this is letting you guys know that that escalator means business holy chicago we are going to a sudden death ladies and gentlemen this is sudden death Wow, 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 wow. Wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Screenshot time. Screenshot time between these bad boys. Oh my goodness, Turk, what are you doing? 105.89, man. That is some crazy stuff right there, guys. 105.89 on the right lane that is now the time to be someone write that down in the comments please i don't know what you're doing with your life if you haven't wombo thank you so much for writing it down hank thank you so much for writing it down so that means that channels will go back on the right lane um the escalator on the left and we are going to a sudden death oh man this is gonna get spicy I need everyone to give me as many red emojis as you guys can in the commentarios. Ladies and gentlemen, Thanos on the right lane and the escalator on the left. As many red emojis as you guys can. 
All right, so Thanos on the right lane and El Turco Juan on the left. Woo! We're gonna go ahead and turn off the lights. We're gonna go ahead and turn on the red lights. Turk Jones on the left, Thanos on the right. What is about to go down, we do not know. I don't even wanna press this button right now, guys. Here we go, guys, here we go. In three, two, one. And we got a light on the right lane, but a 106.43 from Turk. Ladies and gentlemen, Turk with the win against Thanos. Oh my God. 106.81 for Thanos, 106.43 from Turk Johns on the left lane. That means that Thanos is eliminated and be real will not have four cars in the royal rumble tournament oh i need to take a screenshot of this guys hold on wow 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 oh my goodness 106.43 to a 106.81 this is crazy that was so close Oh my gosh, man, light came off, light came on and went off, then registered the win, yeah. So it was on as soon as I pressed the green button, but both counters were working correctly. And then as soon as he crossed the finish line, uh, it turned on for him. So it's a legit win, it does count. Uh, mind you guys, I'm not watching the cars whenever I hit the green button. I always look at the clocks just in case we get an error. So that's how I've been able to catch all the other ones where the time has been on prior to. Um, you guys can actually go and rewind if you guys want to. You guys can rewind the live and watch it in a super slow-mo. Um, so you can see the clocks are working correctly. It's just the right tower light was on. I think even the towers were with anxiety right now. Ryan Shumay says, what the? I know. Exactly. If I win or not, I am happy, Turk, we made it. Thanos should retire, says Inksy. Oh, man. We're going to find out. That's right. So Turk just won on the right lane. Thanos is automatically in third place. That feels so weird to say, but we know Thanos is already a legend. He doesn't even have to win any more races and Thanos will already be a legend here at Tiburon Mountain Drag Strip Awesome Wheels. So, El Turco Juan will go on the right lane and Victor Morales will go on the left. I'm still, I'm still in shock at the 105 though from the escalator. I mean, the 105, how much was it? 105.89? I mean, okay. Here comes all the Thanos dying memes in the chat. <laughs> all right, here we go, guys. We're going to the top of the mountain. Ladies and gentlemen, what's crazy about this championship is the fact that none of these cars, or better yet, Neither of these drivers have a car in the Royal Rumble tournament. So it's going to be awesome to see another face in the Royal Rumble tournament tonight. Even though it would have been cool to see Thanos in that Royal Rumble tournament. But we tried and these cars um, will be moving on to the top two. And we're going to see who will get the top two of the night. Remind, remember guys, both of these cars had the fastest time of the night with a 106.30 before Turk Jones sniffed some jalapeno something and hit a 105.89. I don't even know how he did that, but I'm on awesome. eBay. I'm on eBay looking for the FTE Escalades. I have, I have three of those Escalades, by the way, Shumi. So. Here we go, guys, here we go. So, Turk Johns on the right lane and Victor Morales on You're the left. Awesome. Both, both sponsors here at Awesome Wheels uh, and Tiburon Mountain Drag Strip. So, huge shout out to Victor Morales and Turk Johns 
for both being sponsors here at the track. Really appreciate both of you guys. Here we go, guys. Victor on the left, Turk John's on the right. In three, two, one. Yeah, 106.53 from the Escalator. 107.56 from Victor Morales. Oh, man. Turk John's not letting anybody win tonight. Also, um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something and I forgot. Oh, yes. Turk John's now officially, if Turk John's wins this championship, right? Which, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Victor Morales will force a sudden death now. But in case he doesn't and Turk John's wins, that means that the Escalade for Turk John's will be the fastest car going into the Royal Rumble tournament. The fastest before was Shadow Jets with a 106 flat. That was the fastest time we had seen in the Royal in the full throttle tournaments. Uh, in the full throttle tournaments, the fastest time we had seen was a 106 flat from Shadow Jets, and that was on our fourth tournament, our four full throttle tournaments. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and see that, we have a full throttle tournament playlist here on our channel, and you can watch all the tournaments together, back to back. So, if Turk Johns wins this race, he will become the fastest with a 105.89. Here we go, guys. If Turk wins, I'm going to be on the passenger seat for the final race. <laughs> Here we go, everyone. Here we go. Turk on the left, Victor Morales on the right. In three, two, one. And a 106.42 from Turk. Easy win, 107.12 for Victor Morales. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen. First place. Oh, another earthquake. Another earthquake. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen. For Turk Johns. Turk Johns now in our Royal Rumble tournament with the Escalade. Very, very awesome uh, to have Turk Johns from Johns Auto Body. Chef Al says, nah, I got a 105. Chef got a 105? When was this? Oh, I think Chef didn't get a 105. All right, guys, we have to see that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth full throttle tournament to make sure Chef Al does have a 105 in that tournament. Does anybody remember that? Let me know in the comments if Chef got a 105 and what was it? Do you remember exactly what number? Was it 105, 60 something? Man, I had forgotten about that, Chef, my bad. So Chef, Chef Al says a 105.46. Six. So if you guys thought you had a chance, remember that accurate concept for chef is there. So that means, I'm sorry guys, thank you guys for correcting me in the comments. So Chef Al has the fastest car of the Royal Rumble Tournament champions. So I this whole time I thought Shadow Jet had the fastest time, but a 105, 105 46 is the fastest time for those cars. Um, and that is Chef Al in the Acura concept. <sighs> okay, guys, I'm going to take the camera off the, the stand real quick, but it's because I'm going to go ahead and show you guys our 12 cars that are going to be racing in the tournament for um, the Royal Rumble tournament, which I will be letting you guys know when we're going to be racing that, but that's going to be... That's going to be a tournament that, you know, we literally have to like get ready for. I need everyone. I think like the drivers are going to come with like suits on and stuff. So here we go. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, our block of 12 cars is now filled. So um, up first, the, full, the first full throttle tournament was won by um, Punisher in the old school skyline. In the second full throttle tournament, the champion was uh, Joshton in the Bone Shaker, in the FTE Bone Shaker, very, very amazing car. By the way, hold on, let me get a, let me get a light in here. This is Victor Morales giving me ideas. So I think maybe that will help out. Hold on, let's see. So again, Bone Shaker is uh, the second, 
the second winner of the full the second full throttle tournament. Chas Ferdinando was the winner of the third one with Forward Force. Um, he was doing some crazy things there. He was winning all the sudden deaths. Um, fourth full throttle tournament was Shadow Jet for Team Be Real, which is that yellow one right there. The fifth one was, of course, Big Mac, my man Joshin, putting in his second car in the full in the Royal Rumble tournament. The fifth full throttle tournament was won by the Big Mac for NASCAR. Sixth one was Goliath, Goliath for Team B Real, um, which is it's like a Chrysler concept car, I believe. So he 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 named that one Goliath. Um, the seventh the seventh full throttle tournament champion was um, Chaz Fernando in the Rocket Oil Special with the orange and yellow wheels. Then um, in our eighth was Chef Al in the Acura Concept, which is the fastest car um, from the these all of these cars with a 105.46, 105.46 for Chef Al. Um, our ninth uh, full throttle tournament was Shoemates in the Sprint NASCAR. Our tenth was be real again with the pt cruiser our 11th was my man womble in the eruption which he kept it fair for everyone with his wings closed and he didn't open them up till the very end i still gotta upload those pictures by the way and last but not least tonight ladies and gentlemen another 105 car in the full throttle tournaments um El Turco Juan, Turk Jones, in the Escalator. So those are your 12 champions that will be racing for the Royal Rumble Royal Rumble Tournament. That means that um, Inksy Victor Morales will be doing a photo shoot for one of these cars and creating a special one out of one merch um, for the champion. One of these champions will take it. Again, the drivers are Punisher, Justin, Chaz Ferdinando, Be Real, um, Chef Al, Shoemate, Womble, and Turk. We have a total of eight uh, racers that will be competing. Eight racers will be competing in this Royal Rumble tournament. So these are this is how the cars are going to line and race. Draw a hat and the cars have to run, even if they're both. Chaz's cars. Draw hat. So correct. So I will be, um, I will be doing, um, I will be doing. That's a good question. Thank you guys for bringing that up. So basically, they can run exactly how they they won right so it can be punisher with joshton chaz with um be real joshton with be real chaz with chef um shoemate with be real womble with turk but that means that if shadow jet beats forward force and goliath beats Big Mac, Goliath will be going against Shadow Jet. I think, right? And we can't have that happen. So basically what we'll do is run it like it is, says RA Tracing, okay. So you guys wanna run it exactly how it is on here, exactly how they won, is how we're gonna be running it. So if we run it this way, that means that, let's say just, Hypothetically speaking, if Shadow Jet beats Forward Force and Goliath beats the Big Mac, we will not um, run Be Real versus Be Real. So what we will do is we'll leave that spot empty and Goliath will move on to the, to the following race after that one. Does that make sense? Let me know, let me know if you guys are agreeing with that. 
So basically, if forward force, if if Shadow Jack beats forward force and Goliath beats Big Mac, instead of putting Shadow Jet with Goliath, Goliath would go behind Shadow Jets, and whoever wins out of Chef and Chaz will go against Shadow Jets, and whoever wins out of B Real and Shoemates, if it's B Real, the Chrysler will go behind the Goliath. But if it's Shoemate, then it would go with Goliath. Does, does that make sense? If that happens, he picks one to go forward. Race them how they land. I'm already waxing air eruption for, <laughs> uh, for 7-Eleven. So you guys want me to run them? Uh, so Inksy says that if they land next to each other, meaning um, if Shadow Jets goes against Goliath, that b Real has to pick one of these two cars to move forward. And one of them will get eliminated. Does that make sense? Oh, hold on. Yeah. So, b Real makes a good point. So, it will be racing one of these. So, that means that... Okay, so I think we're going to be good. Because, for example, let's say Punisher wins and Shadow Jet wins. Shadow Jet will be going against Punisher. If Goliath wins, Goliath will be going against Chef or Chaz. And then if PT Cruiser wins, PT Cruiser will be going against Turk or Womble. So it makes sense. So we don't have to worry about them, actually. So we can race them exactly how they are. And again, if Punisher was to win, Punisher has to go against whoever wins out of these two. So b Real is the one that has the most cars, I believe. Because b Real has three cars. Yeah. So, um, he will go with different people if we race it the way it is. Even if, let's say if b Real's cars wins all the first round, um, they would still go against other people. The only way is, be real, the only way is if in round two, let's say Punisher is going with Shadow Jets and um, Goliath is going with Chef. You know what? Never mind. There's no way Goliath is going to be Big Mac. I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, guys. Um, this is going to be an interesting race. So I guess we'll go ahead and attack it once we get to it. Um, it'll definitely work out. I think it'll work out all together. So this is gonna be an amazing race. I can't wait to race this, but this is our Royal Rumble tournament. I'm gonna be making a really cool um, thumbnail for the YouTube channel um, for this Royal Rumble tournament. I, I was gonna do like an official video of this tournament, but I'm gonna run it live with you guys on here. So the same way we've, we've been doing the full throttle tournament, we're gonna do this Royal Rumble tournament, but it's just gonna be a lot bigger and yeah. So anyways, thank you guys again for being here tonight. You guys have been more than amazing. Um, shout out to everyone who raced tonight. Shout out to all eight drivers for uh, sending in your cars. Uh, some had already cars sent in. Thank you for renting out cars. Um, you guys are super awesome. You guys have been super amazing. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys. Sorry. I'll see you guys in our next live. Might not be the Royal Rumble tournament, but I'll let you guys know officially when the Royal Rumble tournament will take place. But. We are gonna be, I am thinking about putting up a poll here on my YouTube channel um, about the next coming up tournament. So, I don't know, what did you guys What did you guys think about the full throttle tournament? Let me know in the comments if you guys liked this whole full throttle tournament. This is the first time we ever do this in the history of Awesome Wheels, where we take the champions. We've done like past champions uh, lives before and races, tournaments but none like this where we 
kind of put them and we only race plastic or, or metal on metal and metal on plastic with plastic tires um, one right after the other one and take all the champions and put them together to race in one major tournament. So again, um, I think I think this is the first time we've done this. So um, if you guys like it, we can definitely do something again like this, uh, maybe with a theme. For example, uh, American Muscle, right? Or old school, right? So cars from 80s and before, something like that, 70s and before. Um, I'm gonna make a poll here on the YouTube channel and I'm gonna share the link with the Patreon so they can go ahead and vote and see, you know, if we do a full throttle tournament, um, JDM edition, American Muscle edition, cars that shouldn't race, fantasy cars only, um, kind of things like that. I would definitely think um, Inksy by uh, Inksy Victor Morales says we should do a reverse uh, race. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot do that, guys. Uh, the reason why is because the top of the mountain is uh, very steep, and that will be a um, an illegal race. That will be an illegal tournament if we were to run all the cars backwards. And I know Jimbo wouldn't approve that. So the only way we can run that race is if um, Jimbo doesn't know about it and um, it's an illegal race. So I don't think we'll be able to do it. Um, that's a thumbs down from me. I don't think we should do it. Um, and I don't think it'll ever happen in Awesome Wheels history where we do an, a backward reverse uh, race. So that is an illegal race. That's a thumbs down from me. I don't think that'll happen. I know Jimbo is listening to me right now as we're saying this. So, um, so yeah, again, that will be an illegal tournament. So that cannot happen. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys again for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Uh, every video that we do, we're trying to come up with something a little bit better for you guys. Again, I'm trying to see if I can upgrade um, one of the cameras. So that when we do this whole um, explaining and close-up shots and so on, uh, it doesn't look as blurry as it does right now, and it'll look a lot more clear. Um, so definitely, we will be um, working on that very soon. Patreons, in case you didn't know, we are going to be working on Tiburon Mountain 3.0. So this room will be no more and we're going to be working on a 3.0 Tiburon Mountain drag strip um, it's going to be the exact same length so the numbers are going to stay the same it's going to be the same mountain but with a little twist and I'll explain to the Patreons and to everyone who is a member of the Awesome Wheels family um, in detail so anyways thank you guys again for being here I will see you all in our next uh, tournament. Make sure you guys have a good night. Make sure you guys stay safe. Make sure you guys keep racing. And above all, make sure you guys stay super awesome. Have a good night, everyone. I'll see